morning! My name is Pokina98 and today I'm going to show you how to take your Vroid models expressions from something like this to something a little bit more spicy like this. So the first thing you need to go ahead and do is open up Vroid Studio, tab over to the hairstyle tab and select one of the drop downs that you do not use. I would recommend using either the side or hahage one, I don't know how you pronounce it, and because a lot of booth exports use the extras tab. You will probably want to go ahead and click create new, but I have already created one, so I'm going to open that up. You're then going to want to go ahead and click edit hairstyle, and you're going to need to edit sort of the shape of the hairstyle. So I'll show you how to do that now. I've already done this once, so I'm just renaming the one I already have. So once that's opened up, you'll be met with something like this, and you need to mould it to sort of fit as close to your face as physically possible. I would recommend clicking the little symmetry tool up here, um, as this will help you later. And here are the hair settings I use. So I go for maximum width, no thickness, and no twist intensity or placement. I find this is the easiest to model with, um, but that's just my preferences. You then need to go ahead and pick a material that you have not ever used for any other hair model. So I'm selecting this one here. You can obviously check that it is one you've never used, so I don't use the dark blue, so this is perfect for me. And shape it around where you want to draw. So I want to go for blush, so I just need that little area under the eyes covering. Once you're happy you've got your area covered, click the little drop down, and I would recommend unticking all of the colours. So untick base, shade, and highlight colour. Um, I find this is the easiest way to do the drawing. If you have multiple layers on, it seems to go a little bit fricky for me. Click edit texture on the material and go ahead and delete all highlights and other layers so you just have the sole one. Next, you're going to want to go ahead and get the eraser tool and completely get rid of the hair you just drew. <laughs> Once you've done that, we are on to drawing. So I'm going to go for the blush so I want the same colour that my cheeks are. You can draw directly onto the map on the right, but I prefer to do it straight onto the face. So select your brush tool and start drawing. Whilst you do this, I would just focus on one side of the face, so I am just focusing on the right side of the face for this now. And depending if you've done the hair downwards or sideways, this will affect the symmetry tool, but I would normally have it on personally. So once you're happy with your drawing on the right side of the face, we can now focus on getting it equal on the left side. This is easy if you want something that is reflected, but for this blush, I want it all going in the same direction. So to do this, I would recommend getting rid of the left hand side and creating a second hair group. All you have to do is right click on the, the blush hair, so the whole group, um, and duplicate it. Make sure at this stage you call them left or right, because when you go back into this, if you want to make any changes, this will help you out along the way. Then you can just click the little movement tool and move it over to the left. You can go and repeat this for all of your expressions. So I've also made some heart eyes and some little star eyes with some floating around in the area around it too. Okay, once you're happy with that, we can exit out of it and go ahead and save it. You can either override the one you've already made or just update it and save it as a new thing. The most important thing to do as you do this is make sure that all of the layers you want as expressions are visible when you export it. So make sure you click the little eye icon. Amazing. So now we can export it as a VRM with this little drop down up here. So we don't need to reduce the polygons or anything for this because we are using it in VC face. So call it whatever you want and go ahead and export that. So once that's done exporting, we can go ahead and open up Unity, which is where we're going to do the remainder of the work. Once that's loaded up, click New Project, make sure you select 3D and call it whatever you want. So I'm calling this like Pokina's Frilly Top. Whilst this is loading, you need to go ahead and click this link down below and download the VRM converter for VRChat. This will just allow you to import VRM models into Unity a lot easier. Then you just need to drag and drop that file into the assets uh, sort of block down at the bottom. Make sure you click all and then import this, just make sure nothing gets missed. And then you'll be met with this screen and you can just exit out of both of these. When you get this pop up, just go ahead and accept all. You'll know it's complete when you can see VRM zero at the top and we want to click on that and import our VRM. Once you've done that, it's going to ask you to save. Do not move where this asks you to save it. Um, I find that really messes it up, so just leave it wherever it's suggesting. Okay, now that's imported, we want to just check everything's come in. So drag your model up to the top left and just zoom in to check those expressions that you've added are there. Now these are added in, we need to go ahead and name our materials. So click on your materials list down at the bottom and go and find those textures that you've just added. So I've got the stars, heart and the blush, which I'm going to go ahead and rename now. This will come in very useful later on. Okay, so next thing we need to go and do is sort out the blend shapes. So click on blend shapes here at the bottom left and go ahead and find the one that looks a little bit like this. 
If you can see Fun Joy and AEIOU, you are in the right place. Next, you need to go ahead and click the blend shape you would like to alter if it's something subtle. Or for these, because they're a bit bigger, I'm going to create a new blend shape. So call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine Stars, Hearts and Blush. Once you've done this, we can get to sorting out the facial expressions. Go back into one of your materials, click on Colour Alpha and set the alpha to zero. You need to do this for all of your materials so they are hidden. Once you've done this, we can go back into blend shapes and start doing the faces. So I'm going to start with the stars, so click on stars, click on blend shape here, and then click on face. Now in here you can edit what you want your face to look like, but for now let's focus on the materials list. You need to click on that, click the plus, click your stars or whatever you want to pop up with this face, and then click the second drop down, colour, and set the alpha back up to the highest it can go. At this point, you can start adding colour to whatever you want your, your stars to pop up as, but I just want mine as plain white. So the little image on the bottom right shows me what it's going to look like, and now I'm going to repeat the process for the hearts. Um, some of the differences you can do with this is you can actually sort of change the colour of individual elements. So you can also change the colour of different materials, such as your irises. So I've got my hearts in here now, but I don't really like the colour they came out when I set them to white. So I am going to edit the colour and make them a little bit more of a pinky hue. Okay, so I think that looks good. And now I want to edit my irises to make those a little bit more pinky to just go with the romancy look I'm going for with these eyes. So I've selected the iris and now I'm just going to edit the colour to match whatever, the, whatever I want the irises to be. You can do this with any of the materials you have on your model. I just wouldn't recommend doing it with the skin. Uh, it makes it look a little bit weird, a little bit janky. Um, but I would do it with the irises. The hair sometimes is really cool to change colour. And then obviously you can repeat this process for everything else. If you are trying to make one of your materials transparent, I see this big blush that I've got here, um, I would suggest you change the opacity of the material before you input it into Unity or you edit it in your browser. Luckily for me, I like the little lines, so I don't need to worry about this, so I'm going to stick with those. Once you are happy with all your facial expressions and everything, go ahead and save it and then click on VRM and export. Before you export, you need to click on the little blue name of your model in the top left, um, and now it will appear and allow you to export it. Pop that wherever you want. I have my own little personal Unity exports file and go ahead and save. We are now all done in Unity and we can go ahead and put it in VC face. So I'm just removing the old one and then click add avatar and click the new one that you have added. Open it on up, head over to settings and expression settings. And now you'll be able to see all of your new facial expressions, your blush, heart and eyes. I would recommend changing all of these to a base and assigning a hotkey to all of them. So I'm going for six, seven, and eight. Um, if you have it as an additive, it means it will sort of layer up if you click two at the same time. This can be cute for sort of subtle things, um, but obviously for something like this, I would recommend taking that off. And check they all look good with the eyes blinking. I really don't like the heart ones, so I'm going to disable the enable blinking when I have my heart eyes set on. And that's literally all you need to do. Now, when you close this, you can go ahead and test all your settings. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And there you go. You now have custom facial expressions on your VC face uh, avatar. I really hope this tutorial was simple and helpful. If you have any questions, please let me know. Or if you want a bit more in-depth tutorial on how to make stuff move and a little bit about opacity, let me know and I shall sort that for you. My name is Pokina. I'm a Twitch streamer and I really hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope to see you over there soon. Have an incredible day and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.